Go in. Yeah. I boarded a train of thought, and now I fish in a stream of consciousness, hoping to reel out the shimmering scales of my father and layer myself in his armor to better understand how it feels to be a man at war with the mirrors in your skin. He doesn't want to believe in the funhouse he's become. His legs quake. His hands undulate. He can't escape the corners of his mind, where it's hard to breathe because the clouds of cracked smoke are laid thick and sweet enough to decay the strongest man into a yawning hole. Come on. He stands alone in his week, in a room of distorted reflections, and one, he is a zombie chasing a ghost. Sucking on glass chimneys, smoking out his soul from its once fleshy home. And his wife and son are coin machines that hate to see him gamble away his gold. But if he inserts a few false promises, then the fuel of his fix will flow. Oh. He races that ghost to the finish line, but the ghost has already crossed over. He can only move closer than the other. He is a raggedy deck of playing cards, 52 years of highs that have led to lows because his black jackson aces in the hole like to play a different type of pick up and still shuffling it's his life and life is love but for 21 years it has bled out of his queen's heart <laughs> he's tired of watching him spread his cards thin and she's been with him long enough to see the pattern of his suits every diamond is dipped in blood every club is a one leaf two short clover and every spade is an upside down heart with a thorn in it. Damn. He is a royal flush of bad jokes. Ooh. The floor quakes, the walls undulate, they can't escape the fun house he's become. So he smashes through each reflection as the man in the mirror goes to pieces. Each blood drop falling from his flayed knuckles is a blade ripping at the stitch of silence. He stands alone in his smoke. Each shattered piece below still reflects the burden of his shame. And the Joker laughs behind a frosted window as the staircase my father climbs, jerks from side to side, moving him everywhere, leading him nowhere. And I stand in the stream with scales on my skin and the weight of war on my shoulders. A distant wind sends me the scent of rotten fish. No, my father is just another casualty, a boxed up and buried ghost.